I'm Cole Whitman, and this is the story of my first years in New York City. In the mid-1970s, I moved to New York, scored a $90 a month apartment in the East Village, and somehow got hired as a typist at the New Yorker magazine. There, I wrote fiction like crazy and sent stories out everywhere. I wanted nothing more than to be a writer. But I was living downtown at the dawn of punk rock. And well, downtown had other ideas. That world was loud, tribal, not foot tapping, but gut punching. I fell into palship with a wild man in my building, Slater Martin, who came to front a punk band called Savage Joy. It was I, the writer, who came up with the band's name. I never knew how appropriate it would turn out to be. I also never knew what would happen with Emily Prosser, the beautiful junior editor two floors down I was totally crushing on. The book about me, Savage Joy, has it all. Uptown literary days, wild CBGB's nights, ecstatic, chaotic music, unrequited love and unexpected love affairs, explosions of violence. Once I fell into that downtown world, it was hard to find bottom. My whole crazy story is right there in Robert Dunn's latest novel, Savage Joy.